Alrighty guys, Madman Mandela coming at you live from the Garden Nickel Rod here in beautiful Alabama. Hope you're all doing well. It's been crazy the past couple of days. Lorraine with her cataract surgery, all that kind of good stuff, and I have been hammering. We got five consoles tonight. Okay, and um, all of these have a one year part and labor warranty. They're all up on line servers. Everything under the sun, okay? You got uh, you got the let's see here, BL one, BO two, MW three, MW two, Ghost Advanced Warfare All Post, uh, Jiggy Sentinel. Uh, Infinity Ops Medica Mod Menu 2 uh, for for MW2. And then, of course, you've got Buffington Mod Loader. you got Purge for GTA 5. Uh, it is it is a plethora of stuff. Then, of course, you have your college football revamp for NCAA 14. And, of course, college hoops. All right. So, anyway, we're going to start off here with Curious George. The reason why we're calling him Curious George is because he didn't want his last name used because he didn't want to get his ass beaten by his wife. So... Making a long story short, we're going to call him George. <laughs> but George, here's your console, man. We did your ROL, uh, seven color changing fading with uh, pink and blue and pink and blue uh, for the ROL. All right, and what we're going to do is I'm going to fire this thing. I'm going to fire this crazy thing up, okay? So we're going to swap over the capture card and fire this thing up. Let me sync the controller here. And hopefully with an insane amount of luck, it'll boot, and which it just did. Okay, and there you are. Okay. Now, all right, we're gonna boot into uh, we're gonna boot into Aurora. We're gonna get notifications from the server. If you guys noticed that the uh, the server we got uh, we did our update, uh, we got phase one done. Thank God. And uh, phase two happens to be uh, no KV mode, but uh, we've been working on that. We finally got the database migrated and everything. Got everybody on it. And so far, no problems. Everything's all good. So, knock on wood. We're all good to go, all right? So now, what I'm going to do here is we're going to go through this, okay? Now, George, this is a 500-gig drive. That's what you wanted. That's what you got. Start off at the dashboard, work our way through. As you can see, we got a ton of titles on here, man, okay? I mean, everything from, from, from playing with your Dragon Balls and doing a Raging Blast, okay, to Fable 2, to Gears of War, and then, of course, you have your Grand Theft Auto uh, scenes from Liberty City, you have ELFC, you got Grand Theft Auto 5, San Andreas, and you got Grand Theft Auto 4. Okay, and then of course you have your Halo series, your Mass Effect trilogy, middle of a, um, you know, NCAA football 14 with college football revamped on it. Okay, of course you got some basketball on there as well. And then of course you have your Sonic, your Test Drive, Sims, so on and so forth. Wolfenstein all the way to the dashboard, okay? Now, go ahead, Xbox Live Arcade, all right? You got a ton of Live Arcade on there as well. And then of course you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then you have indie games on there. One of my favorite trailer, trailer park cleavage. I mean King. King. Sorry. Trailer Park King. Uh, classic games. Okay. You get a bunch of OG original classic games that you can play in Bypass Mode. All right. Uh, bypass Mode is explained in the Startup Setup video that I'm going to send along with this video. Okay. So please watch that. You need to watch that and set it up on your network before you power this thing on. I explain everything in that video. Please make sure to watch it. Okay. But you got a ton of... Uh, Original classic games on there as well. Then, of course, you have your emulators. You got Super Nintendo, uh, NES emulator, Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME, Super Nintendo, and back to NES emulator. All right, now, let's see here. I'm going to bring this to the original dashboard. We're going to fire this off here. Okay, and as you can see, it's going to be up and online. There you go. We're going to hit the guide button, and over in your fifth tab are going to be your chiefs. Those are Advanced Warfare, Ghost, BO2, and MW3. You can disable A, enable A. Very, very easy. Bring this back to Xbox Home, and pretty much there you have it. So, George, George, my crazy friend, thank you so much for your business, man. I greatly do appreciate it. We're going to ship it off tomorrow. You're going to get a tracking number tonight in your email, okay? And uh, that will be able to be tracked by tomorrow morning, because that's when these are going to go out, okay? And please make sure to watch that startup setup video before you power this console on. Otherwise, you're going to be looking at the Xbox 360 logo for an infinite amount of time. Okay, you got to put it up on your network first before you can get on there and play. So make sure to watch that video first. It also covers a lot with dash launch and copying files and folders and all kinds of good stuff. All right. So anyway, needless to say, George, again, thank you for your business, brother. I greatly do appreciate it. Okay. And like I said, we're going to be shipping it off tomorrow. And you'll have your tracking number and all that kind of good stuff in your email. All right. Now there goes George. Here is George. And then we have now. Titi Mahana. Mana. Titi. Look okay. <laughs> it. 
PC purchased the console from us, and we uh, complemented it with a 250 gig drive. TT, this one is yours, okay? So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fire this crazy thing up, okay? So I'm gonna swap over to the capture card and power this thing on. And this one is a 250 gig drive, like I said. We'll sync the controller up here. All right, there we go. All right. And uh, we're going to boot into Aurora. I'm going to show you what you got on this crazy thing, okay? So just bear with me. We're going to get into Aurora. You're going to see your notifications and everything else. you also got CFBR uh, one button updater on there as well. Got it, good, okay? And, uh, yeah, CFBR updater is on there. Okay, so where are we at to date? We ain't got to worry about that. So we're good to go. Uh, when the college football revamp team starts updating, which is going to happen in the fall, when they start doing their football stuff and everything else, that's when this button is going to come in very, very handy, and that little plug-in is going to be real nice for you. All right, so anyway, let's go through this thing, shall we? All right, Xbox 360, start off at the dashboard, work our way through. As you can see, like Call of Duty's on there, your Battlefield, okay? Call of Troops 2K8, Gears of War Edition, Grand Theft Series, Halo, Minecraft, all that kind of good stuff. There it all is, okay? Xbox Live Arcade, okay, a myriad mind-boggling amount of arcade games that should keep you busy for a while. But of course, you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then you have your classic game on there. You got one classic game, as much as I could fit. Tony Hawk's Underground 2, that's an original game from the original Xbox. Indie games, of course, Trailer Park Cleavage, I mean King. Okay, and Voice Changer 360 for when you want to stalk like women or whatever. <laughs> yes, it includes a rape kit, okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Emulators, okay. Let's see here. You got Nintendo, you got Game Boy Advance, Sega, Mame, Super Nintendo, back to Nintendo, okay? Over not over eight thousand ROMs on there. Have a blast with it. Alright, we're gonna make sure that she gets up on the dashboard and everything's right and tight, which she just did. Okay. And there you are. We're good. She's up online with a good KV. We'll hit the guide button. Over in your fifth tab, your cheats. Disable A, enable A. Very easy. The instructions are on the screen on the lower left corner of the screen. Okay? To open the cheat menu. You use X to select and B to back out. Very, very simple. All right, we'll bring this back to Xbox Home. And TT, thank you for your business, man. I greatly, greatly do appreciate it. Shipping it off tomorrow. You'll have a tracking number this evening. Okay, you will also have uh, a link to the startup setup video, which you need to watch before you power this console on. Please make sure to watch that video. Very important, okay? And thank you again for your business, brother. I greatly do appreciate it. All right, we'll shut this thing down here now. I'm going to take a bite of TT. Now I'm going to grab hold of Mr. Chris Shoulders. Hey, Chris. Chris went ahead. He purchased the console off the website from us. This is a 120 gig. Here it is, man. All done. Going to fire it up. Swap to the capture card. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to sync this crazy controller up here. Life is good. We get the same notification. Now, this one's a little bit smaller of a drive, but it doesn't mean that you're locked into it. You can get an external drive and load it as much as you want, okay? Set the path up in Aurora, and it's all good to go. All right, so that's all up to you. All right, but anyway, this is a 120 gig drive. Okay, got it, good. Okay, you'll see our CFBR updater. This is going to come on here, okay, and I'm already up to date. Life is good. All right, now what we're going to do, we'll go ahead, Xbox 360, start off at the dashboard, work our way through. The Call of Duties, Modern Warfare 3, College Troops, 2K8, Grand Theft Series, and, of course, NCAA Football 14 with College Football revamped on it. Now, Xbox Live Arcade, you got a couple Live Arcade games on there, as much as I can fit on a 120. You have your homebrew section where your tools reside. All right, and of course, you have emulators, okay? You got Super Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, and back to Super Nintendo. I can't fit all of them on there, man. I'm not going to overstuff the drive because that's when problems happen, so we don't do that stuff, okay? Well, anyway, now we're going to bring this back here. Xbox 360, going to hit the dashboard, make sure it's up and online. And we're good. We've got a good KV on it. We'll hit the guide button. Open our fifth tab, our cheats. Disable A, enable A. Very easy. Bring that back. There you have it, Chris. Thank you so much for your business, brother. Greatly do appreciate it. Shipping it off tomorrow. You'll have a tracking number this evening. Remember to watch the startup setup video, okay, before you power the console on. Thank you again for your business, brother. Greatly do appreciate it. I want to shut this thing down. Then what we're going to do here, we'll grab another one here. Okay. Mr. Brandon Branca. Okay, Brandon went ahead and purchased the console off the website from us. This one is a 250 gig drive. RGH3, of course, shipless install. We're going to fire this mother up. Okay. And let's see what we got here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and sync this controller up here. All right. 
There we go. Okay. And we're going to go ahead. And let's hope the gear got it. Makes it to a royal. We did. Okay. Got it. And of course, now you have your CFBR updater. I'm already up to date. And this one is a 250 gig drive. Okay. So now, here we go. Xbox 360. Start off at the dashboard. Work our way through. All right. Battlefield on there. Call of Duty's on there. Okay. So on and so forth. Uh, 2K8 hoops. Okay. Gears of War. Grand Theft Auto series, Halo series, you know, I mean, so on and so forth. NCAA Football 14 with College Football Revamped on there. Okay. Resident Evil, so on and so forth. Okay. Xbox Live Arcade. You got a ton of Live Arcade on there as well. Of course, you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then, of course, you have your classic games on there. You got an indie, you got any couple indie games on there. And then you have your emulators. Okay. You got Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, Main, Super Nintendo, back to Nintendo. And then what we're going to do, we're going to hit Xbox 360, hit the dashboard, make sure she's up and online and running. Which it better be, otherwise I'll kill it myself. Alright, and we're good. Alright, now we'll go ahead, we'll hit the guide button. Over in our fifth tab, our cheats to disable A, enable A, very easy. Okay, you guys notice we did a couple of updates to the server. Uh, we, are now, we are now over with phase one, which was good because we had to migrate the database and we changed the base code up something fierce. Okay. And we're getting ready for to go no KV mode, which is going to be phase two, okay, which will be happening in a few days. So we're all good. All right. So uh, Brandon, thank you for your business, brother. I greatly do appreciate it. All right. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to turn this console off here. And what I'm going to do, I think that my my camera died. Yeah, it did. Well, what do you know? <laughs> ah, lovely video. Okay. So now. All right. Anyway, take my word for it. This is Brendan Morgan right here. Now, I don't know what the hell happened to my uh, my other camera, but that's okay. We'll go ahead, and what we'll do is I'm going to swap over the capture card. Now, Brandon, this one is yours. 250 gig drive. We're going to go ahead and fire this thing up here. All right. I'm going to grab hold of this controller right here, and we're going to sync this thing up. Make sure everything's good. Which it is. All right. Now, Mr. Morgan. All right. Here we go. Brandon has bought from me before. <laughs> uh, okay. In fact, I've had a lot of people coming back to me buying buying these things going, I should have never sold that one, Tony. You should have never sold it. I'm like going like, why did you sell it in the first place? Well, I don't know. And I'm just like, okay. Well, don't. I mean, you know, it's just like, wow. All right. So anyway, okay. Anyway, as you can see, this one is a 250 gig drive. So we're going to go here. Xbox 360. Start off at the dashboard. Work our way through, and as you can see, a ton of games on there, including College Hoops 2K8, the Gears of War Edition, Grand Theft Auto Series, Halo, so on, NCAA Football 14 with College Football Revamp, of course, Resident Evil, so on and so forth. Back to the dashboard. Now, Xbox Live Arcade, a myriad mind-boggling amount of arcade games. And of course, you have your homebrew section, where your tools reside. And then you have your classic game on there. You got you got one classic game, as much as you can fit on 250. Then, of course, you have your indie games on there. And then, of course, you have your emulators, okay? You got Game Boy Advance, Sega, Mame, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, back to Game Boy Advance, okay? So you got a ton of emulators on there, all right? Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead, we're going to hit the dashboard, make sure everything is right and tight, which it should be, it better be. There you go. Bypass the sign-in, as you can see, it's up, it's online, with good KV. We'll hit the guide button, over in our fifth tab, or our cheese. Disable A, enable A, very easy, Okay? Bring that back. There you have it. And of course, with the mod loader menus and everything else, they pretty much have all the instructions going across the screen and all that kind of good stuff anyway. Just to let you know, uh, Buffington mod loader, all you got to do is hold in on the LB button, push in on the left thumbstick. That'll open up the menu. You can choose whatever. Well, that'll open up the loader. Then you can choose whatever menu you want to choose. Okay? So, Brandon, listen, thank you for your business, brother. I greatly do appreciate it. All right? We're going to be shipping them off uh, tomorrow morning, as I said. You're going to get tracking numbers this evening. Thank you so much, okay? You all have a good one, guys. I'm going to holler at you later. I got a bunch more consoles I got to build. So, listen, you all take it easy. I'm going to holler at you later. Take care, guys. Have a great, great night.